All right, good day everyone. So today we are going to unbox and review a special figure that just came from the mail. So this is, yeah, it's a huge box. I had to, you know, <laughs> I had to move the camera a little bit. So this is the SH Monster Arts Biolante special color version. So I got this from my trusted seller here in the Philippines, Geek Love uh, PH. So yeah, as you can see, the nice thing about them is they always take care of your package. Uh, you you can pay a little extra, less than a dollar, just for you, just for them to make sure that the box, even the brown box, is in very good condition before it uh, gets shipped to your location. So this, so if you're if you're here in the Philippines, if you're collecting Godzilla figures or any figures or any toys, for that matter, uh, I suggest you do check out Geek Love PH. I will put a link on the description below on their Facebook page so that you could send them some love and you can get your figures from them all right so without further ado I'm gonna take out this plastic wrap and unbox the rest of the figure So right out of the box, this is what the uh, brown box looks like. So it has some uh, label of the SH Monster Arts. This is Biolante special color version. Some packaging information on the back or on the other side of the box. You will have uh, again. So this is the English version of the text. Biolante. Special color version, Bandai Tamashi Nations, brandings, SH Monster Arts. So all the branding information. So yeah, now we are going to go ahead and open the figure. So So this is what the box looks like. Uh, so it has some printed information of the figure. It's, it says here Biolante special co special special color version, some brandings and trademark information. On the top of the box, just the text. On the sides of the box, so you have here like a cool black and white image of Biolante and some branding information. On the other side. Some more branding information and at the back it shows you what's inside the box so it, it shows you Biolante it shows you um, the different poses that they came up with uh, and then finally you have the lighting effect that the figure has so yeah so that's what it looks like uh, that's what the box looks like so now what we're gonna do is, is we are going to go ahead and open up this figure this is what the figure looks like on its plastic shell the arms are pretty much detached from the main uh, the main part of the body so we are going to have to assemble that and so that's what we're going to do right now. So here you see the first uh, two arms of uh, so it has a label so this one is L2 and then this one is R2 Okay. Now we now we will go ahead and open the rest of the figure. So this is the main body of the figure and the head. So this is Biolante. Okay. And then we will have to assemble 
the rest of the figure of the rest of the uh, uh, the, the rest of the vines of Biolante. And then I will catch you back when once we've uh, attached all of the joints on the figure. All right, so that was kind of a chore. Uh, I thought it was gonna be easy because it's just gonna be four um, limbs that I'm gonna connect there but well yeah so just a tip so each of these things are labeled each of these joints are actually labeled each of the um, vines if you will of Biolante are labeled so they're labeled on the box I mean on the plastic um, cover or plastic shell each joint also has a label on on the on the actual joint so you you wouldn't really miss uh, which joint goes where the only problem I had was it's actually a tight fit so they actually tried to um, they actually tried to make it as seamless as possible which kind of I'm just gonna put some light on on those uh, joints because it's kind of a big figure Okay. let's move it forward so th they were trying to you know put some to make the joints more seamless and because of that the tolerances are very tight so it it was kind of a chore to attach each of the of these of the vines to the uh, <clears throat> to the joints but overall since it is really done it, the sculpt was done really well so even though there are some uh, joint lines here it doesn't take away much to the overall look of this figure so now that we're looking at the actual uh, sculpt as you can see here each of Violante's Bio vines are done really well all the details on this figure is phenomenal it's really sh monster arts really did a good job on sculpting this figure so even the webbings on on the chest area uh, was really done well uh, the head sculpt uh, how they did the the teeth was also done superbly i i i, I really uh, have no qualms on how they sculpted the whole figure so from top to bottom this is really a nice figure a premium figure to to have so yeah so this is what the back side look like looks like so as you can see from since uh, I mean if, you, if you've seen the movie Biolante is basically uh, Godzilla's clone so you can see the how the uh, how the spines at the back were treated so it's really it's really like you know you're like looking at a, a mock uh, a mock-up or a model figure that's gonna be used as a prototype for the actual suit so it's really done well there are a little bit of uh, as you can see here there are some you know some marks from these from the uh, molding process that uh, are a bit visible on my end but uh, on, on on the camera I'm sure it's not really that uh, visible anymore but yeah so there, uh, those hiccups it's it's really um, uh, something that uh, you wouldn't really notice when when you're holding the figure or when you're really photographing the figure already so yeah this is what the whole sculpt looks like even how they treated the veins and the details on each of the vein wow this is superb I mean it, this is really you can really tell that this is a premium figure so even each of the uh, traps on the vines are done really well so they have sculpted details on the teeth they also have some sculpted details on the tongue and the, on, the, on, on the mouth area which is really good now in terms of paint application I don't own the original uh, SH Monster Arts Biolante and uh, but for me the special color version when I was looking at the pictures the special color version was basically adding some more earth colors especially where 
uh, the vines meet the body or kind of like the main branch or the main stem or the main trunk of a uh, biolante i mean most of the color differences are there and uh, i would say that uh, this gives the figure a more natural look compared to the original and for me that works i mean it, it's it gives it kind of a weathering a little bit of algae uh, you know earth colory look which you would probably find if you you do see such a monster uh uh, in, in real life so th for me how they treated the paint application on this one is really good there are some misses that you could find here and there uh, for example on this uh, trap you could see there is a misplaced uh, red coloration on one of, on, on, on one of the teeth that is uh, not supposed to be there but other than that I really couldn't find any other fault on how they treated the figure. I, I, I like how the black, I, I'm not sure if you can see it, but I'll try to focus it more. Uh, there are some black spines that are coming out of Biolante's body. And the earth colors that they used on the special color version kind of, you know, uh, brings all of those details out so for me uh, this is this is really a better treatment or a better paint application comparing it to the original uh, there is another thing I think uh, the, the the original color of the eyes isn't yellow so if I'm not mistaken Biolante's eyes are, are a different color but for this figure in particular, they colored the eyes yellow. For me, that also works. Uh, it, it does look more natural. It gives it a more natural feel to it. So, uh, I'm not gonna fault SH Monster or it's a Bandai for, for doing that one. Alright, now in terms of articulation, this, art, this is really the highlight of the figure. And I think this is the highlight of any SH Monster Arts figure. So the nice thing about it is, so yeah, so if you can see here, the mouth opens and closes. But the nice thing about the mouth is, if you look on the side, there is actually some webbing on the mouth. So when 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 Biolantis uh, mouth opens wide, you could see a lot of that red webbing coming out on the side of the mouth, which is a nice you know it's a nice touch to the figure. So it's a nice touch to the figure. So and and also of course at SH Monster Arts, so there is a lot of movement since all of these are actually ball joints. So there's a lot of movement on the neck and to prevent that from looking awkward they, they added a piece here that that goes up when you pose the neck so that the neck actually sits flush to the to the rest of the body like so so when Biolante looks up the neck actually is supported by some webbing here at the middle of the, the body and of course the each one of these um, vines are actually movable they're kind of like Biolante's feet if you will and then finally each one of these uh, veins are actually connected by ball joints so as long as it's uh, so, so you could you could just imagine how many ball joints is this so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so you have like eleven or twelve ball joints so a little so and then uh, uh, each one of these uh, uh, traps if you will are also connected by a ball joint so they have a lot of uh, range of motion even on those mouth so yeah so in terms of articulation 
Biolante has a lot of range of motion uh, which uh, you could use to uh, do a lot of dynamic poses with this figure. So yeah, so the, basically that's uh, Biolante. So yeah, the nice thing about this figure is it, it has um, a, lighting uh, a light up feature on the chest area. So there is a switch on the bottom of the figure that when you when you switch it on this way it's going to light up orange like so and then if you switch it on the other side it's going to glow red so yeah so that's kind of what so that's kind of the gimmick on this figure. So now let's go ahead and what we're gonna do what we're gonna do next is we're gonna compare this figure against some other figures that you might have in your collection. Okay so this is how the SH Monster Arts Biolante compares to some of the figures that I have in my collection that you might have as well. So here I have the NECA Godzilla Biolante Bile version. That's how it stacks up with it. And here I also have my custom made um, NECA Godzilla 1991 or Guido Goji. So that's what it looks like compared to Biolante. So this is Biolante's pose when it's crouching forward so when you when you when you um, move the head a little bit up so this is what Biolante will look like with its head arched up so that's kind of like the maximum height if you will that Biolante can reach well, uh, well yeah, yeah so that's the maximum one that's the maximum height that Myolante reaches uh, so yeah so you could you could post them this way or uh, you could post Biolante or you could post Biolante this way so yeah so that depends on your preference uh, so overall that's that's kind of like the um, the the only negative that I could find in this figure is that it's it actually doesn't scale perfectly with any uh, of the available uh, six inch seven inch figures that is in the market today. So I've I've seen some uh, teasers that um, SH Monster Arts is actually gonna release a figure that scales perfectly with this Biolante so that's kind of where um, that's kind of uh, the the usual scale for SH Monster Arts which is around you know which is around less uh, more or less like a six inch figure so I will take I'll get one right now so that you could see the scale of this figure against one of the SH Monster Arts figures that you might have in your collection so this is so this is Biolante uh, beside one of the newer releases from SH Monster Arts which is the re-release of the 2002 uh, Godzilla. So I'm guessing that if they will create a Biogoji that comes with uh, that scales uh, with this Biolante it would be this size right here so they're probably gonna they're probably gonna make a Godzilla uh, by a, a, a 1989 Godzilla that is this scale so yeah so that's that's what it's gonna look like so this is Biolante's pose moving forward uh, leaning forward and when when Biolante arches up this is what Biolante is gonna look like and so yeah so that's gonna be what so that's going to be the height difference that it's going to have if uh, that Biogoji does get released. Okay. So final thoughts about this figure. Again, so yeah, there are some there are some paint application that are a bit 
uh, out of place like some of uh, of uh, on, on, on especially on the uh, veins or on the traps of those veins from Violante but overall uh, when you look at how they did the whole figure, the articulation, the sculpted details, the the overall paint application, and plus the gimmick on, on the lighting effect, this figure is really a premium figure to have. Uh, and just like the original version, I, I actually do prefer this over the original version because of how they did the more natural treatment on, on the trunk area of this figure. So... If you do have the the uh, you know if you do have the spare cash or the or or the resources to get one of these, and if you are an avid Godzilla collector, I do suggest that you get this now. This is gonna this is not gonna be on sale uh, for a very long time. So sooner or later, it is gonna go out. It is gonna get sold out. So if I were you, if you have the you know if you have the extra funds. I do suggest you get it sooner rather than later. All right. So yeah, that's it for me, folks. Thank you guys for uh, watching. Again, again, again. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe. Please like this video. Um, we're also on Twitter. We're also on Instagram. We're also on Facebook. So the hobbyist. So yeah, um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. And I will see you guys soon. Peace. <laughs> Peace.